All right, so this is college basketball too. Coach. Uh, last time we left off, we went. Oh, we went twenty and fourteen. Uh, perform better. We got a two-year contract, and uh, now we're doing the off-season now. So we gotta go ahead and get to it. Here's everyone. So now we're going to be focusing on point guard this year. So now. We're going to go find out. Who can we choose? our point guard for the future because this team looks better so if you heard that that was the cats very annoying um i think we're good here also i had to get some new headphones because my old phones broke so we're gonna see how this new mic goes Let's continue on. Oh, look at that, an ad. All right. The off season is a little bit boring. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, it's gonna be boring for a little bit. Did you see that? Um, as of recording this video, the Suns are going to the NBA Finals, beat the Clips in six. All right. So, like I was saying before, the the Suns are going to the finals. That's it's kind of crazy. CP3 is finally winning his champ, maybe winning his championship this year? Question mark. Um, one before he's gonna win before Harden and that's going to be crazy but um, the West was wide open this year yeah so we're going to see what happens oh pro draft there let's see if we get anyone drafted I've been doing this a while and I've not yet gotten one person drafted for the women's side like at all and the streak continues. And the streak continues. Anyways, we're trying to get Norman here. International player. Do I know from where international? No. Because it won't let me know. But she's an international player. Top 15 point guard and top 50 player overall. So hopefully we can get her. Uh. Yeah, sorry. Oh, sorry. sorry it took me so long to uh, get this thing started. Um, I mean, it's been a while. I haven't had the free time. Maybe I'm going to start recording videos outside. Um, just to not, not bother my family. So I don't think I'm a weirdo and talk to myself. So yeah. So when you guys are watching YouTube, do you usually get the um, the drunk driving ad? The only reason why I'm asking is because I've been hit with that ad for about four times now. Since we started this. It's ridiculous. I don't drink and drive. I'm pretty sure everyone knows that. If you don't, then you're an idiot. But, you know. But hey, listen, if I have to get that drink and don't drink and drive, call somebody, call your mom, call somebody. It's not worth it. If I got to hear that shit, one, I mean, if I got to hear that thing one more time, one more time, I'm going to freaking lose it. I'm going to freaking lose it, man. 
I just got hit with the same ad again. I just don't understand. You know what I'm saying? I just don't understand. What if I gotta keep doing this over and over again? What a freaking loser. So yeah, I just got hit with the same ad again. Um, the reason why you guys are not seeing this is because I'm pausing it, pausing the recording, and then we're, and then after the ad plays, I'll play it again. But I'm really saving you all the trouble of uh, of losing your mind because I've been hit with the same ad for about six, seven times now since recording this little video. Probably gonna hit with it again. I'll let you know. And I just got hit with the same ad again. Um, it's impeccable. I have I wasn't receiving those ads until I took the impact test for Texas. And. Um, what the impact is, is basically warns you about the dangers of drinking and driving, or impaired driving, if you will. And, um, yeah, ever since I took that test, I've been getting hit with a bunch of uh, drunk driving uh, warnings. So, so yeah, I got hit with that end again, but we do have Linquist that's committed to us. She's a she's ranked 322nd player and she's the 78th best point guard, and she has committed to Fayetteville, Arkansas. So that's cool. As you can see, Spears, Savage, and Fitzgerald all have committed, and Ford, and Thomas. So, as you can see, some of the bigger names are starting to uh, get signed here. I hope and Norman can sign with us because. We desperately do need her. Okay, I paused it because I thought there was going to be an ad. And then there wasn't. But um, we got Morris, the 14th best player, 6th best small forward. And we got the person we were looking after, Norman, 38th best player, 11th best point guard. So, they are committed. And this is the last one. So the only person we got was Spoon, the 720th best player in this recruiting class and 106th best center. And she's walking on. So, so we're going to go ahead and finish this season. Brown got better. Coley got better. Champion and Mitchell all have gotten better. They up there overall. I mean, of course, the other players got better as well, but not overall better. You know what I'm saying? All right, we got 10 players that are going to be returning for next season. And then we're going to go ahead and commit Morris, Norman, and Linquist. We're going to continue. Ah, yes. We missed out on the NCAA tournament. Hopefully, we can be better. Uh, Paul Tolto, California, is someone that's going to go all the way. Number one. Key players, upperclassmen, Clemson survival is one to watch. Hold on. All right. Sorry about that. Um, so, as you can see, top ten. Number one, Palto Alto, California, South Bend, Illinois, Berkeley, California, West Lafayette, Illinois. Is that Illinois or Indiana? It's one of the two. Avondale, Ohio, Lexington, Kentucky, College Park, Maryland, College Station, Texas, Norfolk, Virginia, and Reston, L.A. Or no, not L.A. I believe it's Louisiana, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, S. Metal Shooting Guard, Senior Berkeley, California, from Lindenwood, Linden, Lindenwood, New Jersey. Okay. Rumors of her off-season workouts are legendary. Don't want to see if it pays off this year. 
preseason All American. We got D Wright, senior at College Station. We got Jay Morrow Jr., Kansas City, Missouri. We got C. Brickenmeyer, senior Long Branch, New Jersey. Uh, C. Gregory, Jr., Lewisburg, Pennsylvania. And we got M. Gasser, Jr., Stores, Kentucky, Connecticut. As you can see, this is this is the predictions for our conference. We're going to be third according to the predictions. Player of the year, D. Wright, out of college station shooting guard. New, top newcomer, P. Wright, small forward, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Senior leader, D. Wright again from college station shooting guard. This is the all conference team. So we got D. Wright again. Then Warsabisky, Warsabisky, uh, sophomore center. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. A. Harpitolo, Harpitopolos. Point guard, Lexington, Kentucky. Sophomore. We got uh, one of ours. F. Brown. Junior, small forward, Fayetteville, Arkansas. And we got T. Smith, senior, small forward, Knoxville, Tennessee. I don't even know how to say that person from uh, Lexington, Kentucky's name. Harpo. If you guys have some more to say, I mean, something to help me figure that out, that would be lovely. Okay, top three recruiting classes. We got Seattle, Washington, Clemson, South Carolina, and then Cincinnati, Ohio. So this is this is our top three things. Will we make it to the NCAA tournament? All right, sorry about that. Um... The recording stopped and I tried to save it and then I kind of changed some of the stats and preseason All-Americans, but we're going to keep moving forward. So these are coaches on the hot seat. The coach from Provo, Utah, pretty big, Bloomington, Illinois, the second one, Gainesville, Florida, even though they won the champions. No, no, never mind. That was the other one. This third and then Waco, Texas. And then we got the rising guy. Rising team, the li this little guy or girl or woman could definitely make a big splash this year. And we got Fayetteville, Arkansas. Death is not an issue for them with juniors like F. Brown and sophomores like D. Mitchell getting major minutes every game. All right, and then PCTs on the walls. I'm gonna get you guys, let you look at that. Okay, D. Ward. A, I'm not D Ward. A Ward, sophomore, Bridgeport, Connecticut. Expressive player with unmatched intensity who does not hold back her emotions on the floor. A Chantel, soft, I mean, not sophomore, senior, small forward from Reno, Nevada. In a position for great, greater impact on the floor this year for Reno, Nevada. G Allen, point guard, senior, Santa Clara, California. An elite level point guard who is firmly on the radar of just about every pro team. Can she perform at the level everyone expects? And then we got our standout player, our conference standout player, P. Murray, point guard, junior from Lexington, uh, plays for Lexington, Kentucky. Super athletic out of, of Franklin, Kentucky. Uh, will help a revamped office for Lexington, Kentucky this year. We got impact freshman, R. Brown, Orlando, California. Has the potential to be a first team. All, all MTV, MTV, MTW performer in 2022. Hugh Jenkins, small forward, San Francisco, California. And I'm back. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Um, C. Sanders, small forward, Stillwater, Oklahoma. Freshman, sophomore. Out of Bayville, Illinois, is one of the most complete all-around players in college basketball. P. Wright, small forward, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Incredibly talented small forward who will be counted on to provide leadership on both ends of the floor in 2022. Alright, next. Senior leaders. Ed Malone, shooting guard, Stillwater, Oklahoma. About that, I don't understand why the keep recording keeps stopping, but... 
Uh, D. Wright, again, has the potential to be a real difference maker for the very competitive College Station Texas team in 2022. Z. Vita, power forward, still Walker, Oklahoma. A real track of all trade style player who will be counted on to fill in the gaps left by Stillwater's Oklahoma's departed players in 2022. S. Parton, point guard, Tuscan of Arizona, the senior point guard from International. International has huge upside and is a player to watch for in the PCT. Next, and then our predictions for 2022 the Elite Four. So they got Pouts out to California. West Lafayette, Illinois, South Bend, Illinois, or Indiana, and Berkeley, California. And then, of course, they got Pots Alto, California again, versus South Bend, and then Pots Alto, California win. So that's the off season. We're going to be signing minutes. All right, and that was the offseason, guys. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe if you want more content like this. Um, if you want me to continue playing Among Us or do that uh, or bring back Marvel Strike Force, I will be happy to do so. But yeah, comment what you like to see, and um. I'll go ahead and catch you on the flip side, ladies and gentlemen. Flip side? Catch you on the flip side, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good day.